At one thirty, we have the amazing Kristen Archer calling in from the iHeart Ham. Why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> from the iHeart Hamilton dot ca blog it's amazing if you haven't checked that out then you sir are a fool or you ma'am are a fool you should check that out <laughs> what jordan is basically saying by introducing that now is that everything up until that point from now on is filler yes that's what i'm trying to say um well she did do a nice uh she did. She did a nice article mm-hmm. on my August third show, uh, "The Ghost of Cheeseburgers Past," which was at the Casbah, he, right here in Hamilton. Had a bunch of very funny Hamilton comedians on it. It was a storytelling show. Kristen does a lot of stuff around Hamilton, where she's like, I guess the tagline of her website is "Be a tourist in your own city." Mm-hmm. So she uh, she's been to a lot of music, food venues, and like she. She's done a lot of music and food venues and stuff like that. <laughs> Izzy just choked me up over here. Uh, sorry. Um, and, oh, man, that just made me lose my train of thought completely. <laughs> uh, you were just talking about uh, Christian's I Heart Hamilton blog. It's a great blog. It's really it is cool. It's really, really interesting. It's really got a lot of content on it, and like a lot of free content. And I mean, if you're looking for things to do in Hamilton, that would be the first place I would check. That's the first place I do check if I'm looking for events and stuff in Hamilton. And uh, it's awesome. And she finally, after a little coercion and sex appeal for myself, finally <laughs> came out to um, my show and just, she covered it and she wrote a very, very nice flattering article, mm-hmm. uh, which complimented all of our comedic abilities. And uh, yeah, there was my, my favorite line from the article was... Um, Poop was a recurring theme. <laughs> Let's just say we got to know all the performers a little better. <laughs> it was a recurring theme. I like that, yeah, it was. I like that she thinks it's a recurring theme in that show and not just your life. <laughs> in my act, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. To keep that under wraps. <laughs> yeah, because like 90% of my act is about my irritable bowel syndrome. Do you have IBS? A self-diagnosed. Oh, okay. Uh, I like to think so. For, uh, sanity's sake. Yeah. You know? Teach their own. Going crazy down here by the bathroom. <laughs> and, uh, going crazy down here by the bathroom. And, uh, yeah, so, she was very nice. She was a sweet person, very kind, wrote a nice article. And, uh, you should check that out, www.ihearthamilton.ca. And if you have any events, or you're looking for something to do in Hamilton, or you're looking for somewhere to eat. I'm sure she has a review on it already. She has so much content on that site. She does. It's incredible. Incredible website. There at iHeartHamilton.ca. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway. That was a fun show, though. No, she's on the line right now, so. Perfect. Hey, how's it going? Hi. You're on the air with us. Hey, guys, that was a good intro. I guess that was my cue to call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were uh, awkwardly waiting for you to call. It's uh, it's always filler before the guests call in. Yeah, it's good. It was a good stall. <laughs> Have you been listening to the, the full show so far? Yes. It's, it's not the best show you've ever heard? <laughs> it's pretty good. I can see why they're moving you to the, the best time slot ever. Thank you, thank you. And you might have a show here soon as well? I hope so, yeah. I think that would be a lot of fun to kind of expand I Heard Hamilton into the radio. Yeah, it'd be great. I'm, uh, I would definitely listen. I'm looking forward to that. So uh, what, what was your favorite or most uncomfortable moment at the Ghost of Cheeseburgers Pass? Do you remember? Um, I don't know. I don't think I got uncomfortable at all. I think I'm, I'm pretty good with the poop humor. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you really enjoyed my act then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You didn't even feel uncomfortable when Dan Peters told the story about murdering a dog? Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, that took a weird I turn, that. didn't it? Yeah, I was dog. hosting the show, and that made me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Dan makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, it makes me uncomfortable sometimes, too. So you had fun overall, though? Yeah, it was really fun. You can't wait to come back to the Hamilton comedy shows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to check out more shows and like the staircase I've never been to and I've never seen one at the Corktown, so there's lots to still check out. Well, there's a great show tonight at the Staircase Theater. Mm-hmm. It's Hammer Night Live. It starts at 9 p.m. It's five bucks to get in. Paul Boychuk, Matt Serena, and other people. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know who else is on that show tonight. Are you? No, I'm not. I think Megan's in there too tonight. Oh, Megan's on the show. T- are yes. you going to that show tonight? I don't think so tonight, but I did. I did see it. People were tweeting me about it. I think Zach's in there too. Okay. Cool. Oh, nice. Nice. That'll be a good show to go check out then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so you really, you really didn't feel uncomfortable during the show. You felt good because you don't seem like the type of person who would really. I, I just don't get the vibe that you would enjoy poop humor. <laughs> I don't know. I can handle it. <laughs> yeah, you did well. Uh, do you? Do you uh, I don't. I don't even know what I'm going to say right now. I forgot my line. <laughs> 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 do you feel uncomfortable right now, Kristen? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Good. That it's just us. <laughs> <laughs> I should say happy birthday to Izzy, too, since he's there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right. Thanks, Kristen. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, everybody. Check out iHeartHamilton.ca. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And uh, we hope to see you around soon. Yeah, I hope to see you soon. All right. Yeah. See you later. Boy. That and we're uncomfortable. She's great. But she is amazing. <laughs> like I, we, I honestly don't feel like we did a blog justice there. No, really. we, we just made that really awkward. We all, we all, got, we we all, all subpar social skills. That's what's going on here. Yeah, we mesh well together in a room. But as soon as a, a, a girl, pretty calls girl, in. calls in, I get all tongue tied and red faced, and I'm sweating. And then we started. I saw you guys individually start laughing nervously, and then I said the uncomfortable thing which i thought would save it and it didn't at all yeah i find when you're legitimately uncomfortable and you call out being uncomfortable it makes there's nothing there's nowhere to go after that so it's just like uh yeah no this is (laughs) so we all curled up into our chairs (laughs) shaking nervously yeah wow well it was an honest moment at least i guess (laughs) that was that was cute and yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I, we didn't do our blog justice honestly we made that really uncomfortable the, um, the blog's great check it out I heard it wow 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 you're making this more uncomfortable you should just call her back you should call yeah. her later when the show's over we should get her, her to call her. I would she's still to. listening I would love she should to. just call in right now and we should redo the whole thing <laughs> yeah yeah maybe um, she's very sad. I'm like, no. She's like, I'd never want to no see way. these people again. Yeah, she's not listening anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's looking for a new radio station to do her show at. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best show there? <laughs> <laughs> Three fumbling young boys that are scared to talk to a woman. Yeah. Wow. That got weird. <laughs> Where do we go from here? I think we go into Izzy's uncle. I think you're right. That's the only... My uncle's listening right... Well, not that uncle, but... Oh, okay. But uh, my uncle's listening right now. Hi, Zio. That's all I wanted to say. Because he's, he's texting me right now. Hi, Uncle Zio. No, Zio means uncle in Italian. Either way, uh, yeah, I have a I have an uncle. A great uncle. Well, this is the amazing thing to me, is that... Um... He's not so great. Man, I'm sweaty and still I just feel like I just ran a marathon. <laughs> yeah, me I too. guess I don't really know I'm what that feels sweaty. like. <laughs> I guess. Um, see, this is the crazy thing about uh, stand-up comedy, and this is why it's an amazing art form, is that you can take the most painful things in your life and just kind of turn them into humorous anecdotes that make the audience chuckle, giggle, laugh. Cringe. Cringe. Which happens feel uncomfortable. And... Uh, you actually turned a traumatic childhood experience into a funny bit, which is amazing to me. Yeah. That you, I don't know, you sort of got past it through stand-up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was it was weird when I was a kid at the time. I guess we should, I don't know how to say this radio friendly. That's why I'm like, let's well, just say. use technical terms. It was an uncle <laughs> who was inappropriate. With well, no, it, it you have to like let it be known that it wasn't. 
I didn't think it was that big of a deal, and I'm not going to go into the bit, but it was just like uh, a gentle tap. On there an was, area that there should be no tap. Yeah. Gentle or otherwise. Yeah. 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 Like, where because, did he touch you on the doll? <laughs> kind of tap. Yeah. Um, he, he made a sound. And he looks like the uncle, kind of looks like John Candy, if John Candy were a silent film star with massively inappropriate fetishes. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> that's, I don't know what else to say to you. So, why, well, why don't we just start from the beginning? Tell the story. Izzy has a bit on stage. He I'm going to be honest. i got to give you the reins on this one. I've still got Kristen Archer running through my head right, right now. You, you, know, you, you should get over that. You should call her after the show and just tell her you love her. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's really what it is. I'll, I'm going to oh, – it's just uh, – uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hey, it's, uh, it's Jordan. Uh, hi. What, what are you, what, what's up? I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making... I feel uncomfortable with you. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable with this bit because I don't know where to take it. <laughs> yeah, you really you really dug yourself a hole here. <laughs> you did. I, I should stop. <laughs> you really should. <laughs> Let's move on to Izzy's uncle touching him. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Don't call me again. <laughs> That's Unless how you're going to check out my blog, I heard Hamilton. That's how that conversation would go. It's yeah. You should do it anyways. Okay, I will. Yeah. Uh, I will. But okay, one second. So just I'll. So we heard this bit. I'm not going to do much better. Than that. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, as, as awkward as you're feeling right now, I got this. I got this. Okay. Uh, Izzy's been doing a bit on stage about how he was uh, touched inappropriately by an uncle when he was a child. I thought it was a joke at first. I thought me, it was me too. A joke. No, and then, yeah, real. Yeah, Izzy, it's real. I respect that. Then, yeah, we not, found out that it was not real. Not your uncle doing it. I respect the fact that you brought a real <laughs> No, we heard moment. what you said, Jordan. Uh, <laughs> you fully endorsed it. And then uh, we found out that it was real. Now, this great uncle, up yeah. until... This week? We, uh, this week, this you weekend. believed... I thought he was dead. He's wow. not. Well, tell the story. You were at... Oh, I was how, at... How, how, yeah. Much do I got to lead you into this? Oh, yeah. I was at my grandpa's funeral, uh, and I was standing in the line, and I I thought uh, he I, I thought he was this guy was long gone, and uh, he walked up to me and shook my hand. A man walked up to you who yes. you did not recognize. Who at I first. did not recognize, and he goes, "You remember me?" And I just, like, yeah, I loved you, and Uncle Buck. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started laughing uncontrollably. It's like, oh, yes, I remember you, and my brother was there, too, and he was extremely uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to make the sound that, <laughs> that both of you... <laughs> he actually made that sound? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that... The the touching and the sound was... one. That is all 100% true. <laughs> all right, maybe we should get off this. This is, this is towing some borders here. <laughs> We're getting into some deep waters here. And, uh, you know, let's keep it light. It's Izzy's birthday. Let's maybe not... <laughs> let's maybe... Maybe it was a poor oh, judgment call. Oh, getting a call in from uh, Izzy's uncle, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, he's on the line. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> If I were there in person, I would definitely ooh, la, 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 all over you, Izzy. <laughs> right, thank you for calling in. I Thanks. love how if he called in, we'd be able to handle that call better than the Kristen <laughs> call. And he's Mexican all of a sudden, yeah. so that helps too. Uh, <laughs> anyway. It's really hot in here. It it's getting hot in here. It's getting weird in here. I feel like... <laughs> One girl, one pretty girl calls the show one time, and this is just a train wreck. We should have left it to the last 15 minutes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kristen, if you're still listening. Stop uh, it, Izzy. Don't. don't. You, should, uh, yeah, you, know, you, should. you should call Jordan sometime don't. after the radio show and just be like, hey, Jordan. Izzy, stop. Yes. <laughs> you're right. Yes. And, uh, totally. Just be like, hey, Jordan, it's, it's me. I was just I was thinking about you. <laughs> We should go out sometime. Now, Izzy, that's inappropriate. But if you <laughs> wanted to do that, Kristen, that'd be, that'd be fine. Oh, we have a call about one. Hello, 93.3 CFMU. You're on the air. Hey, guys. It's me again. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? Are you calling back to... Uh, Ask Jordan on a date? Ask me on a date. 
Well, you were like continuing the interview without me. I was being mentioned, so I feel like I need to. Uh, <laughs> I think that is a good idea. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a good idea. Uh, I was talking to uh, Mark at Doctor Disc. I don't know if he's listening, but he said I should call back with like a different accent and pretend to be someone else. <laughs> <laughs> is his uncle? <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> I don't know if I could pull that voice off. I don't know if Izzy's uncle can pull that voice off. Yeah, it's I creepy. don't get that joke either. It's creepy. Yeah, it's pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> Why don't we talk a bit more about the blog? Would that be cool? Yeah. Yeah, you guys set it up really well, and then I had nothing to say, so you, you covered it. <laughs> uh, how long have you been doing it? Uh, just a little over two years now. Okay, and what was the motivation to start? Did you just do it for like uh, on a whim, or did you have it kind of planned out where it would head? Uh, yeah, it wasn't that planned. It was right after I graduated from Mac. I just kind of started out as like a summer project to uh-huh. get to know my hometown better. Um, and I kind of wanted to make it a point to visit everywhere I had never been before. Uh, and then it just made sense to document it as I was going. And then it just kind of took off. That's great. Uh, now, you've been yeah. doing it two years. How frequently do you actually like check stuff out, new stuff out? Um, I don't know. There's no like set schedule, but mm-hmm. it's pretty pretty constant like there's always shows going on um i can't write about everything that i do but yeah a lot yeah that i find that really impressive that you've been doing it two years and doing putting out so much content and still finding new stuff to talk about yeah i think my list keeps growing like there's no end to it really that's great you sample a oh, lot of food in that. hamilton nice interview. <laughs> pardon do you sample a lot of food in hamilton yeah, food's been a big part of it, especially, like, there's so many new restaurants opening all the time, so I'm always making a note of things to check out. <laughs> What's the uh, best place to eat? Oh, that's hard. It's a hard question. There's so much. Um, you got to pick one. Just one. Um, so Jordan knows oh. where to take you. So I know where <laughs> to take you on our date. <laughs> I don't know. There's so many spots. That's that's now that was that was the sound of an interested woman. <laughs> so, what is the what is next up? What's the next big thing that you really want to check out that you haven't yet? Um. Well, the comedy was definitely something new. Um. I haven't done anything like we're like the waterfall capital of the world thing, and I've never done any kind of outdoor waterfall stuff. How are we the? Uh, I've never even seen a waterfall in Hamilton. I know. The, well, if you go to City of Waterfalls website they're all listed so apparently there's a hundred or something i don't know there's a lot (laughs) there's a hundred waterfalls in hamilton well that probably includes like little ones i don't know i need to research that (laughs) (laughs) i don't know i've just never seen one what's because you mostly stick to you mostly stick to downtown jordan that's that's true i don't think there's a waterfall in brandon's apartment yeah that's true (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think what else. <laughs> I think it's like Super Crawl is the next huge thing that I'll be covering. Cool. What's well, that? Yeah. A Super Crawl. I've, I've heard of it, and I actually have, I'm embarrassed to say I have no idea what it is. Well, what You don't I, know what it is? I have no idea. No, I've, really? I've, I've, heard, I've heard of Super Crawl, but I don't know what it is. Is it like that Art Crawl thing? Yeah, so Art Crawl is once a month, and Super Crawl is the annual event, so it's just, it's like Art Crawl, but bigger, and it's two days, and all day long, and the entire James Street North will be shut down, and there'll be tons of bands playing, and it'll be a really big festival for the city. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I actually really want to check it out. Yeah, it's the fifth one, and they just get bigger every time. I think this year is going to be really huge. I think so, too. I really do. They should get some comedy on that, though. Yeah, you guys work that in somehow. Yeah, they don't consider us an art form. <laughs> We're talking about these. We're immature. Sorry, this interview. Is he standing in the corner well, right now? I, I thought. Don't, yeah. Anyways, uh, when is the super crawl? Uh, it's September thirteenth and fourteenth. Very cool. And then shortly after that, uh, there will be content about that on iHeart Hamilton. Yeah, at some point, that'll be a big post to sort through. But yeah, there'll be one up for sure. Awesome. Now, what well, separates definitely. your blog from other blogs? Uh, well, there's lots of blogs in the city. I think um, there are a lot of blogs that are dedicated to either just music or just food. The so, rest suck. Or just 
something. The rest, I, the rest suck. Okay. They're terrible. You said it. Yeah, I, I said it. <laughs> I heart Hamilton's the best Hamilton blog. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? Jordan. What? I took off my headphones for like a second because they were warm and irritating me, and then you yelled at me. Off mic without volume. You pointed aggressively at me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Kristen. We will stop bugging you. And uh, okay. we uh, thank you very much. Check okay, out I'll talk to you guys soon. I heard Hamilton.ca. The rest of Hamilton blogs suck. You heard it from Kristen Archer herself. <laughs> Recording her now. Are you still there? Okay, that was just mean then. You heard that from me. You heard that from me. I'm glad we got a second chance. I'm to looking do that at you <laughs> professionally. I'm looking at you, Hamiltonian. <laughs> what are we going to do for the next 15 minutes? We've got the uh we you you sent me a TED talk you wanted me to watch. Oh yeah. How about stand up? Uh, it was how why was it? It was called Why Things Are Funny, right? Yeah. I thought uh, you should do some research into that. I thought so too. I refused to watch it. <laughs> Um, see, like, things like that are great. I mean, it's like the difference between can you learn to be funny or are you just naturally funny? And, uh, for me, it's just like, if I overanalyze something, like, if I watched why things are funny, every joke that I, I just touch my lips against the microphone. Every joke that I write. Terrifying, right? Yeah, it's not good. Every joke that I write from then on is gonna be like me planning to be like I'm trying to incorporate what I learned from why things are funny. Really? And then it, it just takes out the funny for me. That's interesting. The only way I can be funny is can be completely unanalytical of my character or any uh, any reason why I'm funny. So you don't want me to even tell you what the talk was about. I will literally go for weeks of having terrible writing trying to incorporate this advice and then I will stop caring after like three weeks about the advice and then I'll go back to normal. But it'll just put me in a rut of like panicking and trying to but it, it really, analyze why I'm funny. It really gives you no information on how to write a joke. Still, like – because you – it explains why your brain finds something funny. But it doesn't really tell you how you can create comedy. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I, I would guess even I can't say I would even try to incorporate, like I would start to try to like, oh, well, if, they, if this is how the brain perceives people being funny, then I must be this, and then I would try really? to be, yeah, that's interesting. But the only way I'm funny is if I just don't try and just kind of go with the flow, huh? Because I just naturally can say things yeah. in conversation that make people laugh. I'm not like a planned out guy. I'm not good at that. Like, if I plan things out, it's too overcalculated, and then it's not funny. Like that last interview? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was, oh, man. All right, let's, you know what, let's not get into that. <laughs> or let's get into it. I, I guess it doesn't matter. I have been doing radio for three years, two years, three? Three years. <laughs> I have never... <laughs> been like that choked up on my words or felt that uncomfortable before ever what was it exactly that 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 made us so unprofessional during that interview uh <laughs> you were completely enamored yeah i'm in love so Iz, Izzy and i were laughing at your Apparently. your uh <laughs> how how much you've fallen how bashful or, and adorable i'm you not in as love as well as it did not help for Izzy to be making gestures, inappropriate I, gestures. Oh, I didn't say that. I did nothing of the sort. Off mic. I didn't see that. I well, no- all right. Then I, sorry, I made it up. <laughs> you totally made that up, Mace. I did nothing of the sort. I, I guess it was just, uh, I don't know, it was really uncomfortable. And then, you know, I guess at the beat, you couldn't hear his shirt gently brushing against the microphone. I guess, <laughs> I guess what happened was like, we sort of did say a lot about the blog before we got on with her. And then it was like, we got on with her and I had some questions written, but I kind of answered them myself before the inter. Like she even said that she was like, it was awkward. You guys said everything into the lead up. And then I had nothing to say. I was like, we sort of just went in there and you know, you know, that's radio. Sometimes it goes. Sometimes it doesn't. I did her calling back. I thought was better. I thought we did her blog justice. 
the uh, second time you took the reins, and I was completely incapable in this situation. <laughs> you did a good job. Thank you. It- being capable. <laughs> I actually just had someone uh, comment on uh, a picture of the that I posted for the for the show today, and the comment was, um, "I feel awkward just listening to this." <laughs> Well, that's what we're that's that's what we're trying to get across here. We want to make people feel. We want you to feel feelings. We want you to feel something. Specifically, uncomfortability. Feel and something. regret. Yeah, we need you to feel something. Uh, we have a tweet into the show. Hashtag HCH. Uh, Devin Bateson says, "Say something funny for once." Um. I have so little going on that I actually put make a sandwich on my calendar and uh, learned that I didn't know how to spell sandwich, which was interesting. Uh, for how often I eat sandwiches, that's pretty surprising. That's funny. Thank you. Yeah, I think that you actually – I thought it was just going to be awkward silence after I read that. Like yeah. now. Because <laughs> it was awkward, awkward silence after I read my own joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that TED talk, you, best comedy show in the air, everybody. You, you find that you being analytical about your stand-up comedy or being analytical or learning what makes things funny helps you out a lot, Mace. No, I didn't really. I didn't really even like. I didn't. Uh, I didn't try to incorporate it at all. I didn't think, and I didn't even think about it in terms. The way I saw it was like. <clears throat> It won't – I don't think it could help you create comedy. It, the theory – it's so weird to talk about it without telling the theory. I'll tell it. You don't mind? Who cares? It's not going to – it's a theory called the benign violation theory. La, la, la. I can't hear you. Don't want to hear you. All right. Let's not be childish about it. All right. All right. And, right. Uh, All right. Sorry. What? No, sorry. And uh, – you just <laughs> – <laughs> am I just talking into a room now? Yes. So, anyway, so saying about the theory – uh, it's called the benign violation theory. Now you, <laughs> benign violation theory. This uh, um, researcher, they have this research lab called the Humor Research Lab, or HURL is what they call it. And, Hilarious. Uh, and uh, <laughs> the theory is that for something to be funny, it has to satisfy three um, criteria. It has to be a violation. Mm-hmm. So something that is not right, whether it's like, uh, some social violation or just some logical violation, or whatever it is, violation. Yeah. or a legitimate criminal <laughs> sexual violation. <laughs> like with, it has to be benign, so not like the Izzy's case so at can't all. Have cancer. That's serious. No, that's and, why cancer is not funny. Uh, it's good and no, 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 and it has to. And they both have to happen simultaneously. Farts. So you understanding that it's a violation and that it's benign. You have to understand them both simultaneously. That's what humor is. This and they, it explains like a lot when you actually think about it. Like he talks about why tickling is a it's a a mock attack. So it's somebody getting very close to you and really being able to hurt you if they wanted to, but they're not. And so it's a benign violation. Are you just walking out? You're no, no. Like, oh, he's tickling. <laughs> See, so right now. Jordan, is tickling Izzy. <laughs> is this what we've tickling. come to? Is this what the Hamilton comedy are tickling uh, each other on air? Yeah, I'm extremely tickled. I, I knew that was coming too. <laughs> giggle. Um, I giggle. I giggle like giggle a giggle kills me. <laughs> that is, you guys want to hear it again? A happy giggle. Uh, I giggle like a schoolgirl. No, 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 no. We were just. They are both off mic. They've left the reins completely to me. Well, they touch each other. And are both, both. Sweaty. Me, yeah, both physically exhausted from that. What can I say? Just a bunch of guys hanging out. I don't know, out. something. We are on the radio. Just a bunch of guys hanging out. That's <laughs> all we are. All right. That well, was... Pretty much does it for the show, I guess. <laughs> Check me out at 
Gus and Guido's tonight. <laughs> 9 p.m. in Brantford. <laughs> I'll be there telling poop stories.